Hi guys, this is part two of my labor and delivery story and I left off by saying I truly thought that I was going to have a c-section and um, turns out I didn't need one. The nurse came in and checked me and said I was fully dilated and it was time to push and at that time it was probably around 1230 in the afternoon. So um, it was just me, Chris, a nurse, and not the doctor that delivers me, but some type of doctor was there. I don't even remember her name or if she was a doctor or an attending. I don't know. So anyway, it was just us four, and a nurse had one leg, and Chris had the other, and then that doctor was standing there um, just kind of coaching me and telling me when to push and this and that. So um, every time I would push, they would have me... After I was done pushing, they would have me roll over to my right side because every time I pushed, the baby's heart rate seemed to drop. Um, not drastically where, you know, I needed an emergency C-section or anything, but um, just enough that the nurse was a little bit concerned um, if he was handling the contractions okay. So um, I only pushed for about 45 minutes, and to be honest with you, I truly felt like I wasn't doing anything. I mean, I was using all of my energy and I was pushing as hard as I could, but because you can't really feel much, um, it, it doesn't feel like you're doing much. And, um, apparently I was pushing like a rock star because they called the doctor, um, the doctor that delivers the baby. And, um, he said, I'm not going to come in unless, you know, she's really ready to go. So she said, why don't you come see for yourself? And with that, I did one push and he gowned up. So I guess I was doing a really good job. Um, the funny part of this entire thing is that I had Chris hold a fan on me. It was like a little metal fan um, and it was the one thing that was keeping me calm. Like it was nice and cooling and it was just really nice to have that fan, that like fresh air on me as I was pushing. And um, I said, whatever you do, do not take that fan off me. So he was doing a great job with that. And all of a sudden the doctor went to get the scissors and Chris thought it was for him to cut the umbilical cord. But it wasn't and he cut me instead and Chris saw the whole thing and next thing I know there's no air on me and I look over at him and he is completely pale white. He has beads of sweat all over him. Um, he sat down in the chair behind him and the fan is now on him and I'm thinking oh my god he's going to pass out and miss the birth. <laughs> um, with that I see the nurse pass apple juice right across me and Chris chugs it and I guess that helped him perk up right away. So Chris did not pass out, but it was a close call. Um, he was able to cut the cord and everything like that. So um, yeah, it was about 45 minutes of pushing and I delivered Landry at 1.17 p.m. Um, it was the most amazing moment of my life. Uh, last time I filmed this, I was bowling as I was talking about it, but um, now I just, I don't know, I'm like so excited to share that with you guys. They put him on my chest and his head was down, like facing my chest, so I couldn't even really see his face. I just saw this black hair and um, when he finally looked up at me, I bawled. I said, oh my god, he looks just like you to Chris and... Chris was just, he had this smile on his face like I've never seen before. He was just lit from inside and, um, yeah, I just, that moment I have been waiting for my whole entire life and I couldn't believe that it was here, that I had my moment where I'm seeing my son, um, just such an emotional, crazy, insane moment and I will never ever forget it and hands down that's the best moment of my life. So um, they took him away to weigh him, not away, but they took him off of me to weigh him. And when they told me he was 8 pounds, 7 ounces, I just started cracking up. I couldn't believe how big he was and that I was able to push him out. Um, I think it's probably one of the biggest babies I know of, like of my friends. So I'm really proud of myself that I did that because I'm probably one of the smallest people I know. So to push a baby out that big is a big, you know, accomplishment. So he's here and he's healthy. He was born on the 28th of March and um, my life hasn't been the same ever since. It's been incredible. I love, love being his mom. Um, I love everything. I love breastfeeding. Um, I love getting up with him in the middle of the night when it's just him and I. Like, yes, I'm tired. My body is tired, but it, being with him is like the most amazing thing 
I never ever want to let that moment go. Like if I could stay in that moment forever, I would. Um, he makes me laugh with the faces he makes. He's so precious and um, I just feel so blessed that he's in my life. I feel so blessed that God chose me to be his mom. I feel lucky because of that. I just, um, I've never been so complete in my life and I've never been this happy before. So um, I'm sure I left parts of that labor and delivery story out. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I wanted to also just take this time and thank you guys. Um, this journey for me of becoming a mom has been so hard. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. I just, um, trying to conceive for three years and never finding an answer as to why we couldn't or watching everybody else get pregnant so easily killed me. It was so, so hard and for so long I didn't understand why I had to go through this. I didn't understand why it was so hard for us um, and this whole journey has seriously brought me closer to God and that's honestly the whole reason I feel like I had to go through this. Um, God called me for a relationship and now we have one and my faith has never been stronger. Um, when I look at Landry, he is a miracle and he is a gift from God and that's the only way I truly can see him. I see him as completely 100% perfectly made and just so in love and I can't believe he's mine. <laughs> Um, I wanted to thank you guys because this community of, you know, my fellow TTCers and all the new moms have been so unbelievably supportive of me, um, always encouraging me and I can't thank you guys enough. I don't know what I would do without you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if I get emotional. Um, in real life, there's not a lot of people that can understand what you're going through on a daily basis and the heartache that you feel um, when conceiving is an issue. And um, once you do conceive and there's, you know, other people that haven't, some people kind of end friendships with you or, I don't know, kind of just fall off, fall off, I don't know how else to put it, but... Um, this community itself has been nonstop supportive and you guys have really lifted me up when I needed it and I just wanted to say thank you for that. There's, I wish I could say thank you to every one of you and I've read every single one of your congratulatory messages and whether it was an email, a text message, or just a message on YouTube, I've read every single one of them and I am so, so thankful. And I wish I could respond to everybody. It's just been hard, obviously, having a newborn and getting adjusted. So just know that I have read it and I love you guys. And thank you, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me to be part of this community. So thank you. And um, I hope to continue to make videos. It's going to be hard getting adjusted with the newborn and eventually going back to work. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. So I will give you guys a quick peep. He's sleeping still. <laughs> he makes sounds, Lisa, if you're watching, he makes sounds like the zombie from The Walking Dead. <laughs> hey. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you're so cute. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.